Hi everyone, it's me, Princess Joy D. Ibalia of BSHM 1B1 student. Welcome to my first ever video here in my YouTube channel. This video composes the history of 10 Bornean tattoos and the Malayan settlement that happened here in Panay Island located in Barangay Malante, Kamti Kantike. Enjoy and keep watching! Welcome to the province of Antique, where the mountains meets the sea. Antique is a province in the western Visayas region of the Philippines. It is situated on the island of Panay and is known for its natural beauty, rich cultural heritage, and historical significance. The first capital of Antique was Antique, which was located in what it is now the town of Antique. The town of San Jose de Buena Vista became the capital of province, replacing Hantik. Today, Antique is known for its beautiful beaches, stunning waterfalls, and rich cultural heritage. The province has a number of historical landmarks and cultural sites, including the Binrayan Shrine, which commemorates the arrival of 10 Bornean Datus in the Philippines. Let me share the journey of 10 Bornean Datus and on how the Malayan settlement happened in the island of Panay. The 10 Datus also journeyed across the ocean in the middle of the night in their boats. The positive Malayan Datus made it to the Panay Island. However, they eventually reached the island of Panay and made friends with the Aitas tribe, led by Chief Marikudo. Despite their initial belief that they would perish in the middle of the ocean, the Bornean Datus initially made Marikudo nervous, but Datuputi made that they were calm people. Aitas coexisted amicably as a result, leading to the development of pre-colonial Philippine culture and population. The Malayan Datus landed in Malanda Gamtik Antike, which is a place covered by what we call Panay Island. It was also in the said place where the barter of gold, sadok or salakot, and gold necklace that could touch the ground took place between Dato Sumaquel and the Aitas chief Dato Marikudo and Queen Maniwantiwan in exchange for the Panay Lowlands. It is also supported by Maragtas Chronicles by Pedro Alcantara Monteclaro. Now, I'll share some details about the 10 Bornean Datus that landed at the Panay Island. Dato Paiburo He was one of the leaders of 10 Bornean Datus and was known for his bravery and leadership. He played a significant role in the migration to the Philippines and was among the most respected of the group. He was also known for his skills as a warrior and his ability to lead groups into battle. Datu Tumalugdo He was a skilled hunter and fisherman who used his expertise to help the group survive in their new home. He was known for his courage and loyalty to the group and was a trusted advisor to Datu Puti, the leader of the 10 Bornean Datus. Datu Paduhino He was a master boat builder and navigator who played a crucial role in the migration to the Philippines. He was responsible for building the boats and transported the 10 Bornean Datus and their families and was also responsible for charting the course and ensuring that the group arrived safely in their new home. Datu Lubay He was a skilled farmer who played a crucial role in the development of agriculture in the Philippines. He was responsible for introducing farming techniques and crops to the region and was a key factor in the success of the Malay settlement in the Philippines. Datu Dumangsil He was a skilled warrior and fighter who played a crucial role in the defense of the new settlement. He was known for his bravery and ability to lead troops into battle and was a trusted advisor to Datu Puti. Datu Dumangsol he was also a skilled warrior and fighter who played a crucial role in the defense of the new settlement. He was known for his courage and loyalty to the group and was a key factor in the success of the Malay settlement in the Philippines. Datu Bangkaya 
He was a skilled navigator who played a crucial role in the migration to the Philippines. He was responsible for charting the course and ensuring that the group arrived safely in their new home and was also trusted advisor to Dato Puti. Dato Balensusa. He was a master of magic and mysticism and played a crucial role in the spiritual life of the group. He was responsible for performing rituals and ceremonies to protect the group from harm and was a key factor in the success of the Malay settlement in the Philippines. Datu Puti He was the leader of the 10 Bornean Datus and played a crucial role in the migration to the Philippines. He was responsible for negotiating with the indigenous people of the region and establishing the first Malay settlement in the Philippines. He was also a skilled warrior and fighter who was known for his courage and leadership. Datu Sumakwet He was the chief advisor to Datu Puti and played a crucial role in the settlement of the Philippines. He was responsible for establishing peaceful relations with the Ati people and became the leader of the Ati after the arrival of the 10 Bornean Datus. He was also skilled diplomat and negotiator who was instrumental in establishing the Malay settlement in the Philippines. In conclusion, the history of the Malay settlement in the Philippines is a fascinating story of migration, exploration, and cultural exchange. The 10 Bornean Datus played a crucial role in this history, as they were the pioneers who established the first Malay settlement in the Philippines. The history of the Malay settlement in the Philippines is a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of its people. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles, the 10 Bornean Datus and their descendants were able to create a unique culture that blended Malay, Chinese, and indigenous influences. This culture continues to thrive in the Philippines today, and the legacy of the 10 Bornean Datus lives on in the country's rich history and cultural heritage. I hope that this video presentation was helpful and informative. Come and visit the historical landmark of 10 Bornean Datus and Malay Settlement here in Malanda Kamtik Antique, Philippines.